I'm sorry, I think I lost some of you. Uh, the internet has been a little bit dicey for whatever reason, right? So I tried to disconnect and reconnect. And um, I will, as always, post the video of this later. So hopefully that will help. I'm going to wait just a minute just to see if um, everybody kind of gets back on to join me here. We'll see what happens. All right. Sorry for the connection issues. It seems like we've had some ebook issues with like the maintenance that happened on there and now I'm having internet issues. It's not been the best week for online um, online teaching, but hopefully uh, is anyone there with me? I show that 27 of you are in here. So fingers crossed that you can see and hear me okay. I'm gonna keep going. Uh, and then what I will do again, as always, is just post the recording later so that you can watch this later if you lost a little bit of it. And I'm sorry for that. So as I was mentioning, we are in week number three. So as always, what you're going to want to do is three different things uh, for each week. So this week for chapter five, you're going to want to read the ebook, read through the lecture and then watch the lecture video. And you'll want to do the same thing for chapter six. And then you have discussions five and six for this week, which are related to those topics. I think discussion five is kind of a fun one. You're looking at the, um, the topic of dreams. So as always, you have my discussion notes up here at the top of my instructions and my video. Um, and then you're going to answer this question here about what do you, what do dreams mean to you? You kind of reflect on some different theories about why we dream. So there's a short article that you're going to read, and then you're going to select a dream that you had recently that you remember with enough detail to share. And ideally, I'd rather you pick something that you are comfortable sharing. If you don't have a dream come up, you could share a dream with somebody else in your life. You could think about an old dream that you remember well enough. Um, any of that would be fine. I also have some tips in the discussion video about how to remember your dreams and in the lecture video for the week. So hopefully all of that will help. But what you'll do is you're going to describe a couple of dreams or a dream and then um, how could you interpret that from a couple of different dream theories that you read about in the article. You'll also talk a little bit about why you personally think that we dream. I tend to think that dreams can be very, very meaningful. Um, sometimes they seem incredibly random, of course, as well. But what you'll be doing is kind of examining that dream uh, from a couple of different theories. For the next discussion, uh, discussion number six, this one's going to be related to learning. So for the one on learning, again, as always, you have my instructions up here at the top, my video below it, um, and then a little clip here from the office, right? And what I want you to do is watch this little clip, and then you're going to think about, uh, kind of explain to me, how was Jim able to condition Dwight? And make sure you're referencing the appropriate terminology. You're going to identify the US, UR, CS, and CR in the clip. And then other than amusing pranks, what are some ways that you could use classical conditioning in your life uh, in order to kind of uh, use it in some way that could help you? And I'd love you to really focus on classical conditioning. If you use anything um, related to like reinforcement or punishment, you're probably in the, in the realm of operant conditioning. So just make sure that it's classical. And don't forget to also reply to a classmate, right? As I mentioned previously, and I know we cut out a little bit, um, there were quite a few of you who forgot to do that peer response. And while it's only worth two points, it's definitely an easy two points. You would obviously love to get those points. So uh, make sure that you read through those two chapters, watch the lecture video, read through the lecture, complete discussions number five and six, and then you do have a little short self-assessment that I made for you this week. And this is worth five points. You have as much time as you need. But the idea with this is that I want you to kind of reflect back on how you're doing so far. Are you happy with your score on the first exam? And again, I'll be bringing those into Canvas tomorrow. Um, are you happy with your discussion scores? Is there anything that you want to do differently or kind of keep the same? Please be honest with this. This is meant for you. I'm rewarding you with five points for kind of examining your process so far. Uh, but what I want you to do is take this little survey and kind of give me a little bit of feedback about where you are with the class, how you feel like you're doing, and if there's anything you want to change moving forward. As always, I will post a recording of this, and that might be really helpful. I think I lost uh, a few of you along the way, so I'm sorry for the, the Twitch or internet connection issue, whichever one it was. 
Um, and then I'll obviously give you the extra credit question here in a moment. Week number four is open for you if you'd like to start on that. That one is related to memory and cognition, discussion seven and eight, and then the exam. And then uh, we'll obviously go over all of that next week and talk a little bit about exam number two and all of that kind of stuff. So um, I do have a couple of uh, reminders for you. And again, I'm sorry that we had like such rough connection today. Um, last week, I, of course, I was in the Grand Canyon on the day that we would normally do our stream. So no internet whatsoever. And then I'm home today and even the internet now is a pain. So uh, internet, you gotta love it when it works and it's frustrating when it doesn't. But a couple of quick reminders. The first one, please take a moment to just double check that you're subscribed here on Twitch. If you haven't done that yet, it is not too late. We have eight weeks left together, or five out of eight weeks left together. Um, and so really handy to be doing that. If not, make sure you put your first and last name in the chat. And of course, if you're watching this later as a recording, uh, if you're subscribed, you can still answer that question on Canvas to get extra credit. The other reminder that I have for you, and I'm going to copy it and uh, paste this in there because I typed it out for myself ahead of time. Um, our next Twitch live stream that we have uh, for week number four will be on Monday 7-1 at 7.30 p.m. So next Monday at 7.30 at night. And these will be much shorter now. They'll probably be about 20 minutes or so. I'm um, just kind of going over some feedback and reminders and a chance for you to ask me any questions that you might have. Um, and finally, let me give you the extra credit and show you where you can answer that. Um, this one is going to be really helpful uh, as a quick review of, of classical conditioning. Classical conditioning is definitely one of the harder topics in this class. And so what I have here is I want you to watch a little clip called the attack of the quack. And I'm going to put this here in the chat what the question is, but I want you to watch this little clip. It's in the lecture video and there's one other spot I'll show you in a moment. And then you're going to identify the US, UR, CS and CR in the clip. Not define them, but identify them. So when you're on Canvas, if you go to the lecture on learning right here under week number three, and then you go to the last page, which is application, all the way down here at the bottom, right here's going to be that video right here, Attack of the Quack, the little boy brushing his teeth. It is definitely a prank, but it is a great example of operant conditioning taking place, or I'm sorry, classical conditioning taking place. So this is a wonderful way that you can kind of practice identifying those components. And as I suggested to you in the lecture, always start with the CS. I think that's the easiest way to go. So once you watch this little video, you can click on um, the extra credit tab within this week, which will be, gosh, everything is operating so slowly. Drives me nuts, I wanna just keep clicking. So um, you'll click right here on optional Twitch extra credit number three, and then up at the top, click on start assignment, and then you can type your response in the box. And when you're done, hit submit, get your confetti burst and thumbs up today, right? So um, definitely take advantage of that for this week, especially if maybe you missed two points on one of the discussions because you didn't quite elaborate enough or you didn't uh, respond to a peer. Remember to check your grades, right, at, from last week. And I've only put in the discussion so far just because you still have till uh, basically midnight tonight to take the exam. But if you couldn't find your grades, there is a little page here on how to find them. I sent that out with the announcements this week. But as I mentioned, as of yesterday morning, we're in weeks three and four. Make sure you get going on week number three, discussions five and six, and that little short self-assessment. Don't forget to do the extra credit question if you're joining me here live, or if you're watching this later as a recording, just make sure you're subscribed and you can still do that that way as well. And then when I see you next week, Monday night, we will cover week number four. We'll talk a little bit about memory and cognition, discussion seven and eight, and then that exam. So I'm sorry again for some of the um, connection issues that we had this evening, a little bit obnoxious to say the least. Um, I will hang out for a little bit. Are there any questions at all? And again, this is still for my uh, eight week 55502 class, but any questions at all about anything that's due this week or grades from last week? Remember, I haven't imported the exam scores yet just because you still have until 11.59 p.m. tonight. Sorry that that ebook site was having issues. I have no control over that site whatsoever. So it was just as annoying to me as it is to all of you, I, I promise. But um, what I will do is I'll hang out for a little bit. If any of you do have any questions for me, 
otherwise kind of short and sweet and I will hope to see all of you next week for our week number four kind of halfway point uh, Twitch live stream that we'll have next week. So um, I'm going to hang out for a little bit. I'm going to minimize my video. Maybe that will help the video quality or like the stream quality just a little bit more. Um, but I'll hang out if you do have any questions. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm sorry that we had some issues with the internet tonight. Seems like it's been a little bit of a choppy week between the ebook and the and the internet, but, uh, but we'll figure it out. We'll get there together. Yep. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Um, I will hang out for a few minutes if you have any questions. And then um, if you see that I'm live again in like 10, 15 minutes, it's for my other online class. So don't feel like you missed anything. No worries. Uh, and I will hope to see you all next Monday night. And I am still here if any of you do have any questions about anything from the last two weeks or anything from this week. I am still here if you have anything you would like to ask.